I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. And so then be sure to let me know in the comments below if you find any cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading. Be sure to let me know in the comments which cards, which tarot cards did resonate with you Gemini and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments, right? Uh, as, as well Gemini, just give me a moment, I'm like pulling cards and I can't multitask. <laughs> Um, as well, Gemini, I would really appreciate it for you if you do find some different cards that resonate with you to give me a, give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I was super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to do that for me, Gemini. And then as well, before we get in, <laughs> y'all can't see it, Gemini, but I almost just like lost all these cards, honey. Um... As well, Gemini, before we get into this reading, I just want to say that I feel like any tarot cards, any tarot readings are here to give you some perspective, something for you to think about, but never making a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, not any tarot reader that you receive a tarot reading from, uh, Gemini. Uh, so with all that being said, let's just get into your... No, we're not taking those. <laughs> so, okay. As well, I know I said we will get into this reading Gemini, but I just want to apologize to my Geminis. Um, I've been apologizing to all the air signs and water signs because I just have been slacking with readings for the past couple of weeks. So I'm sorry, you guys. But um, let's get into your reading now, though, Gemini. So for your y'all's of y'all's objective card for this week, Gemini, is you guys got a couple, actually. First, first of that, we have the Six of Rings, or it's the Six of Pentacles, Gemini, and the Hierophant coming in for you. Now, when I talk about the objective card for you, Gemini, this is what it is, the energy that you want to be exuding, the energy that you want to be working towards this week, and probably what it is you're going to be experiencing a little bit through the various actions of your just everyday life and the lessons and just what have you coming in. Oh, I didn't know that card came in. Um, interesting. So, um, let's break this down. What does this mean? So with the six of rings, this is talking about, um, Gemini being more giving with your time. Or I don't want to say just giving with your time, but there's something that you need to put more energy into, whether that's with someone else or with another person. We'll see. Um, I do kind of feel like it is with yourself, though, with this Hierophant, right? It's almost just like you need to put more energy into, uh, you need to put more energy into some self, -ref like, reflecting on a certain situation in your life, it feels like, Gemini. Um, and I say that with the Queen of Swords coming in. This is the card that I was like, I didn't even know this card, extra card came out. Um, so with this Queen of Swords, this is like the card of, like, uh, how you're handling certain situations in your life, Gemini. So when you have, like, the Hierophant, I don't think I ever talked talked about the Hierophant, uh, Gemini, so I'm sorry. The Hierophant I see as someone that's more connected with their higher self. Um, this is a card of where it's like you're getting in tune with yourself, you're asking the questions of being like, what is, like, you know, that's the time you're having, like, the most honest conversations with yourself, the most... Um, learning about yourself really right and so with it so when you have it with the six of rings it's like mm, i don't want to say there's an initially an imbalance gemini but it can't help but feel like this week you are being put more in thought of being like thinking having deeper thoughts about things whether it's with yourself or whether it's because of actions or people in your life that are making you have deeper thoughts. It's, there's something getting in here. And so with this Queen of Swords, this is what I was saying. This is what you're reflecting on, where it's just like, um, how would you say? It's like, you're rethinking how you handle, like, yeah, I said how you're thinking, you're rethinking how you handle things, uh, Gemini, how, like, it's like your perspective, <laughs> your perspective changed on something, on, or on some things. And, it's interesting. I want to get a little bit more detail on this. Let's see if we can get any more cards on this. This one? All right, let's see. I need to get a better setup so y'all can see me pulling these cards <laughs> better, Gemini. So uh, the cards that I pulled for you, let's see. We have the Queen of Pentacles following you. Well, I just, I didn't, I'm more so meant queens following you, uh, Gemini. Seven of Wands. 
as well as the lover's card. So it's definitely someone's making you have a different perspective, Gemini. Um, and this is your card as well, the lover's, right? Um, so with the seven of wands and the queen of pentacles, this is like, it's, yeah, there's some, someone is making you just look at things differently and handle things differently. Um, this could be a good thing or a bad thing, right? Uh, Gemini, because with the queen of swords, you know, this could be, you could be handling the situation, like make certain people in your life are making you handle certain situations in a way that's not so, I don't know. I just can't help but feel like you feel challenged in some way, Gemini. And that challenge may be seen, like that you could be perceiving that challenge with how you handle things in a positive way or in a negative way. It sounds like such a weird message, doesn't it, Gemini? Uh, but let's get in, let's continue on with this. Uh, we have the Eight of Wands coming in here. So this is definitely talking about, yeah, I can't help but feel like, Gemini, you're just seeing, like, your approach on things are just very, um, I don't know if you just, like, just you, I mean, maybe you yourself came up with this kind of Six of Pentacles following you. Maybe you yourself came up with this, um, new way of thinking or just i don't know i you're doing something different you're changing uh, you're definitely changing gemini and it's interesting to um let's see yeah it's interesting to just try to like get into this energy because it almost feels like i mean not to be corny gemini but isn't gemini's are known to have like the two sides right but it feels like i'm tapping into two very different energies so it kind of makes me feel as if like a lot of you Geminis are in like in the middle of a transition of like how you are as a person. That sounds so dramatic and I acknowledge that just from like a out, like taking myself out of the situation. It's just like, okay, girl, calm down, Velka. It's just like still waking up tomorrow with the same bank account, right? <laughs> like whatever. But I don't know, Gemini. I just can't help but feel like it's like a mental maturity, mental maturity, a mental coming of age. That sounds so weird. Uh, whatever. Let's get into these clarifiers, Gemini. I hope it makes sense to some of you, at least. We have the King of Wands, the Ace of Coins, the Queen of Wands, and then the Six of Pentacles following you. That's the Six of Pentacles following you that I said from before. So with this, Gemini, this is telling me of a storyline with this Eight of Wands here. You are... It's almost like you are realizing your approach on something needs refining. And like how you, like where you're putting your energy, like you're, it's like you're realizing you put the energy, you are putting energy into not necessarily the wrong things, but just like the detail. I don't know. No, I feel like, no, I'll take it. I'll, we'll, 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 we will rewind that, Gemini. I feel like there is some stuff that you were putting energy into that just wasn't, of, I don't want to say it wasn't a service to you, but it just wasn't, it was like one, one side was putting more energy into a, into a situation than the other side, right? And with this king of wands and this queen of wands, this is kind of symbolizing as like a person as well. This keeps on reflecting. Usually I try to re avoid talking about like, um, people and relationships and stuff because as well i don't want when i say relationship it doesn't mean romantic it can be platonic business what have you just a connection in your life social connection in your life um it seems to be like and i don't know which one would be who uh gemini but it's just like either someone that you felt really drawn to right because this is counterpart energy this is energy where it's just like you felt really drawn to them you really wanted to put energy towards them Right, you kind of saw them as like your jackpot, Gemini, and something's kind of like shifted your thinking. Whether it's like that, you know, whether it's a person actually, whether that king or queen of wands is a person, which I feel like it is for a lot of you guys, or whether it's just with how, um, like something that you thought was going to be like a passionate thing for you, maybe like a passion, like you thought maybe like, um, you thought your your passion for like skating was really going to take you somewhere and then you just had like a reality check with yourself this sounds so bad right just something passion oriented i don't feel like it's anything to do necessarily with career you just like you had high hopes for something you had high hopes of like 
if you put a lot of energy into like the side project into this thing that it would give some type of result but it you kind of have realized that it's become a time sink for you something puts you into this place of like realizing this though um gemini because i don't feel like any type of action was necessarily taken it just seems to be with this hierophant card like something gets you in this place of tapping into your higher thoughts and learning more about yourself and just asking those tough questions with yourself and being like is this really of service to me I feel like I've just gone on such weird rambles that probably makes no, no sense to anybody, Gemini, so I apologize for that. Um, I hope it does make sense to some of y'all, though, truly. So let's continue on with this, though, Gemini. We're gonna, let's close off that, uh, this section of this reading, right? And let's, you know, we talk about some type of outside energy. Let's close this off, right? With, uh, what cards do we want to use to close this off? We're gonna close this off with the, um, you know what? I heard some of y'all wanted mystical manga. You want me to? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm crazy, y'all. Y'all want the gold deck. We'll close off these two rows about whatever this energy is with the gold deck. And then we'll talk more about you, Gemini. We'll talk about you. Blessings coming for you, Gemini. We'll just deep dive with that, right? Enough of like this, right? I feel like your strength card. I feel like, yeah. You've already, you are, you already are in this, in the works of this. You already are. Me coming into this, I guess, is more so me. This reading is, this uh, section of this is like an affirmation to you, Gemini, that you're on the right track. That is just like, and you and some of you guys are probably like nodding. You're just like, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, I need to be told that. But, you know, the chariot card, this is just like a sign, like you are on the right path. For those that this is, yeah, more so like an affirming card of being like, okay, Gemini, you're on the right path. You're doing the right things. You're thinking the right thought process, process with that chariot card, continue going forward. Um, so closing that off now, let's get into the blessings coming to you, Gemini. Let's get into more about those good things. Well, I don't want to say it's bad things about that. It's just like, let's get into the less heavy things rather. So we have the nine of wands and then the seven of wands. So interestingly enough, the seven of wands is following you, Gemini. This card is following you with the nine of wands, which is letting me know again, it's talking about just something's making you grow Gemini <laughs> that's all I'm like I know it's probably annoying to hear me re be repetitive in this way but spirit really is trying to just hone in on this message of just where it's like because I feel like it's impactful for you Gemini I feel like something kind of like something's like stirring something in you is all that I'm like, I keep on hearing. And maybe I'm just sounding crazy right now, Gemini, and that's okay. But it feels like something's just like stirring itself. Like something's causing you to like really see things and feel things differently. Um, so let's get into these clarifiers. A lot of cards just came out, honey, for you. So give me a moment, Gemini, to process all of this. Y'all are definitely, I don't know what that, y'all. <laughs> Y'all are definitely going through some major shit. Like, I know it sounds like such a cliche for a spiritual person to say, but you're going through some major shifts. Um, Ace of Cups, you're opening up more. Definitely something is unlocking in your heart. Something is really unhinging for you, uh, Gemini, that's making you see things in a different way. Um, your emotion, you're probably feeling your emotions a lot more than you're used to or experiencing new, experiencing new feelings that you're not used to. It's fine. Don't, let's not identify it as good or bad. Just identify it as an emotion and lean into it more. You know, investigate it rather, uh, Gemini, because I feel like some of you guys are at this place of like a inquisitive nature, um, right now because it's just, things just probably are feeling really new and feeling, uh, definitely out of your comfort zone right now gemini um and i say this because you have the lover's card continuing following you gemini this show so truly reflecting that i do feel like this is like either someone else has made you think like i don't know i don't feel like you're i feel like this keeps touching into like another person's energy as well gemini and it could just be like your other side right i don't like you know however it resonates but I've, it just feels like i'm touch like tapping into two different energies 
and I just see you opening up. High Priestess card comes in with the Two of Pentacles as well. It's, yeah, you're getting more, in, like, High Priestess and, like, the <laughs> Hierophant. I see the Hierophant as being more in tune with your higher self and the High Priestess being more in tune with the spiritual world around you. I see, I see you starting to notice signs. I see you starting to, like, dramatic, but it seems like for some of you Geminis are going through, like, what some would call, like, a spiritual awakening or just, like, another transition i don't want to say it as like a spiritual awakening because like we're all always in a process of like you don't have a spiritual awakening gemini and then you're just like done and you're just woke i don't see it in that way at all i see it as like steps it's like you're spiritually emotionally you're just growing as a whole right and that's why you uh have like the high priestess as well as, well as the hierophant card because it's like every part of yourself is just upgrading in a sense and so with that maturity with that coming of age that you are going through right now gemini it just is a lot for you to maintain queen of swords has you in this place of where it's like you're still kind of on guard gemini you're kind of not sure how to feel about things not sure how to like you're assessing the situation you're just like okay but what does this mean like how what do i do with this right gemini it's almost like this place of just like over i don't want to say you're overthinking but you are thinking really hard about this gemini and i kind of just want to just say for some of you gemini's just kind of have like it's okay to think about this stuff in a deep way right you know and then it's like who am i to tell you what to do right gemini but make sure that you match though that deep reflection with reminding yourself of like not taking things too seriously and just going with the flow of things gemini um you know be deep in those thoughts but come up for air sometimes right the moon card because you don't know the whole story you're never going to know the whole story you're never going to know all the details on things gemini you kind of just need to be at peace with the fact that like you know life is exciting life is the unknown right things are going to happen that you just don't know until it's right in front of you gemini right and i even want to, i even want to point out with this gemini you see to i this kind of symbolizes gemini energy i feel like as well just because it's like notice there's like two different energies it's just like one and the same so some of you guys might be seeing this as like a i mean let's just go through with like go through the cliches right um someone that you kind of feel like is your person and what i i know some people might identify like your person as like your twin flame or your soulmate or whatever it's not i'm it's impossible for me to say it in a general reading but there's like a deep connect like something there's a something here something something or someone is really like present in your life something that it's like you're seeing someone and being like yeah this is like my person this is someone that's meant to be you know someone that's really that understands you i guess Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is just a good time for you right now, Gemini, to, you know, think things through. Be, you know, be your inquisitive, analytical self right now with that Queen of Swords. But be willing to accept that the wheels are turning and this is still just in your best of nature, right? This is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you. The wheels are still turning. Still, still turning. The wheels are still turning for you in your favor, right? Even though it's this is unknown for you, even though this feels foreign to you. Six of Wands and the wheel, a fortune. Like this is blessings on blessings, victory card. Look up these two cards themselves, Gemini. And you know, I'm, so just so you know, I'm not just trying to gas you up. It seems like you're going through a heavy transition right now, so a lot of things are just happening at once for you, uh, Gemini. Or it's just like. Not maybe not a lot of things are happening at once, but more so just like a lot of new experiences, like a lot of new things, a lot of newness, I feel like is coming towards you, Gemini. And I feel like with these new things or with these people coming into your life or just certain things coming into your life that challenges your way of thinking and how you handle things. It's just as it's opening you up. It's prepping you for, for like a new journey like you're about to step into like a new storybook almost a new chapter a new story i i don't know i love it though 
So, Gemini, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this weekly general tarot reading for you. Um, let me know what cards resonated with you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, if you did enjoy this reading. And also, I would really appreciate it, Gemini, if you were to share my weekly general tarot reading videos with a friend of yours. I do all the zodiac signs, so yeah, if you think someone might be into my tarot messages, I would love for you to share that with them. Until next time, though, Gemini, I love you so much.